everyone. Hate starting the show off on a sad note. I just read this one this morning, and uh, wow, right before NFL kickoff. Um, remember this guy, Rob Baronis, Tennessee Titans kicker? Pretty damn good one, too. You know, he had a few stints early on in his career, didn't pan out too well, but then he uh, found a home with the Tennessee Titans. They just released him last year. He just um, passed away in a in a one-car accident last night at the age of 36, much too young. Born January 29th, 1978, passed away last night, September 20th, in the year of our Lord, 2014. Only 36 years old. A high-speed accident. No alcohol involved, thankfully, but, you know, 11 o'clock at night. Just very sad. So, Rob Baronis, definitely sorely missed. Moment of silence, please. The late, great Rob Baronis. All right. Camp show on a sad note. Uh oh. Oh, oh. oh no. Uh uh. Because, -uh. hello, everyone. It is Football Sunday! That's right! It is September 21st in the year of our Lord, 2014. How are all you doing out there? I am doing awesome as always. Wicked awesome! That's right! It's Gospel Sunday. Good times. A lot of fun. And today's unofficial sponsor of our show. I haven't brought them out in a long time. They've been serving West Texas for 80 years. Pinkies! Pinkies, wine, beer, spirits. Not those kind of spirits. Um... Yankees, good place. Good Alcoma Hall. 80 years, West Texas. Gotta love it. So, Pinkies. Good folks over there. I go to the one on the north side mostly, but... <coughs> Pinkies. Good friends. Good times. Well, I'm Pike. Hey, never forget. Always gospel Sunday spirit, baby. And what you're hearing, you're not hearing Forearm Shiver by Sam Spence. What you're hearing is the original Monday Night Football song. That's right. On this day, 44 years ago, September 21st, in the year of our Lord, 1970, Monday Night Football was born, baby, as the Cleveland Browns. First team to ever win on Monday Night Football. They beat the New York Jets. It was good. I like that. 31 to 21. So there you go. Thought it was only, thought it was only fitting that I bring out the um, original Monday Night Football song. Well, beer of the day, boys, girls, and eights, I'm bringing it back out. Got to get rid of these. Coors Light Summer Brew, 3.9%, nothing very strong, nothing very special. <clears throat> if you like citrus, it's a good beer. Probably I'm putting that brass up technique, here we go. <clears throat> I'm thirsty, and I'm hungry, too. 45 degrees right in the big sub snap brass, right over the keyboard, because I'm that damn good, and it's going to drop you out in the head, and never will. Here's a bit of all of you pussy say Jeremy Spies is saying the C minus. Nothing special. But yeah. So before I get to the birthdays, let's uh, talk about the uh, football game, shall we? Because I'll give you my uh, predictions that I had. Now, I did predict the uh, Falcons to easily win over the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and that was no surprise. Well, I predicted the 49ers to win. 49ers are down right now, 20 to 14 to Arizona. Um, I actually thought Denver would win this one. I don't know, 17 to 5, Seattle. It is in Seattle, so it's understandable. It was a hard one to pick. I predicted the Dolphins to win over the uh, Chiefs. Chiefs are up 21-15 in Miami. Good. I actually thought Buffalo was going to beat San Diego Superchargers. Did not happen. San Diego won 22-10. Dallas, I did predict the win, and they came back from down 21-0. They won 34-31. Uh, the Eagles, I did predict over the uh, Deadskins, 37-34. That was a hell of a game right there. Um, no surprise. The I actually thought the uh, Giants were going to surprise the uh, Texans, and they did. 30-17. Eli Manning's back. <sighs> Saints over the... Uh, Vikings, no surprise in uh, in New Orleans, 20 to nine. Baltimore over Cleveland, no surprise there. I don't think Baltimore has ever lost to the Cleveland Browns, 23-21. Cincinnati Bengals, I predicted over the Titans, and that was an easy stomping right there, 33 to seven. 
I thought Green Bay would beat Detroit, and I'm very happy they didn't. Detroit Lions over the Green Bay Packers, 19-7. to No surprise here. Colts over the Jacksonville Jaguars. I told you, Justin Dimmitt. 44-17. Stomping. Shocker. Almost happened. Thank God my beloved New England Patriots beat the Oakland Raiders. Brad Rich, we had a good conversation today. No doubt about that, but wow, my Patriots look like shit. 16-9. What a crappy game it was. Ugh. Uh, Pittsburgh, Carolina. That's a tough one to pick. It's in Carolina. You know, I think the Panthers are actually going to win that game. And then tomorrow night, Bears over the Jets. Oh, no question. It, it may be in New York, but the Jetsicles freaking suck. So there you go. There's your predictions in a nutshell. I admit when I'm wrong. I admit when I'm right. Okay. With that said, it is time to get to today's birthdays. And right off the bat, we got my good friend, um, where, where's my notes? Oh, wrong, wrong. Flip it over. Hey, my good friend Josh Lee. Milestone birthday, brother. Wicked, hardcore, badass, creep dog that I work with down here. Yeah, Texas, otherwise known as Southern Oklahoma. Same damn state, pretty much. Uh, they'll tell you a wonderful, better half Donna that. <laughs> now, Josh, you may be younger than Donna, but you don't look it. No offense. Hey, you do look kind of. You're both kids. Shit. I'm 41. Donna and Josh, you guys are a decade younger than me and then some. Well, Josh, happy milestone birthday. Hey, it's a good age. Trust me. And guess what? PT scores, they get a little better for you. Well, Josh Lee, your wonderful better half, uh, Donna. I'm sure she's rejoicing her Cowboys won. What a comeback. you got to give it up for that. That was a damn good game. Tony Roma looked good. Um, boy, he started off shitty. But, Josh, I know you're getting spoiled by your, by your better half right here, right now. I don't doubt that for a minute because she's a great lady. Donna, Josh, the two of you absolutely freaking rock. So I say cheers and beers to the two of you. Happy birthday, brother. And uh, good job with the Cowboys. But I'm a Patriots fan. Patriots won. I'll drink to that. And Josh, I know you're a Patriots fan. So there you go, brother. My very own cousin. I've always known her as JoJo. Joanna Williams. Happy milestone birthday to you. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. And uh, hope you have a wicked awesome day. Always great hearing from you. Just an awesome, awesome cousin. No question about that. And hey, uh, Joanna, cheers and beers to you. Hope you enjoy the show. Another one celebrating a milestone birthday. Born the exact same month, day, and year as my very own cousin, Joanna. Would be my man, KB Ward. KB Ward. A great man I've known for well over 30 years. Of course, I've known Joanna my whole life. Uh, but KB Ward, happy birthday, brother. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Fine out saying graduate of Martha's Vineyard Beach High School class of 1992 with my brother. Awesome stuff. We hung out as kids all the time. And KB Ward, definitely miss your brother. Have a wicked awesome day. Happy milestone birthday. Celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and beers. Oh, if you didn't know, represent my Patriots. Hey. It was AFC champions. We ended up winning the Super Bowl that year, too, against the uh, Philadelphia Eagles. And then after that, we ain't won shit since. Ah! Oh, well. Hey, my man Mike Taylor. Mike, big-time trivia nut. He gets in on the Bear and Song of the Day trivia often. Um, great picture of you with Jim Kelly. There's a legend right there. No question about that. And Mike Taylor, big, wicked, hardcore Buffalo Bills fan. Sorry about the Bills losing today, you know. But, hey. My Patriots are now tied for first place, so I'm okay with that. Excuse <coughs> me. San Diego Superchargers, 3-0, really? Wow, who knew? Maybe they are for real. Hmm. Well, Mike, my friend, happy birthday, and hope you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and beers. Next on the list, a spike chasing legend of a man, my man, Mike Congero. Mike, what's going on, big man? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. The pride of jolly old England, spark chasing legend indeed. Brother, always a pleasure chatting with you and hope you have a wicked awesome day. Happy birthday, celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and beers. Next on the list, another one of my cousins. That's right, one of our unofficial sponsors of the show. Uh, Helen H. Offshore Fishing uh, Office Manager, Yvette Hindle. Yvette, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. What a wicked awesome cousin, no question about that. It's so funny because when we were tiny... He used to be known as Buggy, because he used to bug everybody. But you know what? It's all good. 
it was good times back in the 70s and early 80s. Lots of fun and uh, just an awesome cousin. And uh, we love you. We miss you. And happy birthday to you. And hope you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and beers. And the final birthday of the day goes to my man Dan Ernsberger, a great leader of men, women, and nets that I know from good old California, the land of fruits and nuts, otherwise known as Southern Oregon. Badass, uh, God, what were you, crew dog or bubble chaser? I cannot remember. Oh, boy. Yeah. Go ahead and give me some shit for it, dead brother Ernst. I don't mind. I'll earn it, all right. Um, I want to say a bubble chasing badass, but don't quote me on that. You were just a legend, a great leader of men, women, and nets, and we know that. Well, Dan, my man, happy birthday. Have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and beers. Alright, so with that said, let's give some crap to a couple Raider fan friends of mine that I know from good old California, the land of fruits and nuts, otherwise known as Western Nevada. Ah, my good friend Juan Barba. Juan, dude! You guys almost got us, man, but I know you're a wicked hardcore Oakland Raiders fan, have been since I've known you. You've been a fan longer than I've known you. No question about that. Always love hanging out with you. Awesome guy. A great man indeed. A great friend. We love you, buddy. Not in that way. Don't get emotionally erect. Juan, hey, I know you just hate my Patriots more now, don't you? It's all good, though. It's all in good fun. Juan, my man, cheers and beers. And Jennifer Perez, another one of Fresno's finest. That's right. And uh, we've known you a long, long, long time. And she's a big-time Raiders fan. And I'll always know you as Jiggle Jugs. Yeah, but you're such an awesome lady, an awesome friend. Jennifer Perez, Juan Barber, Raiders. They almost got us, but they didn't. But I still say cheers and beers. And hope you guys enjoy the show. Hey, empty as a brain cell is an average... Los Angeles Lakers fan. Yeah, I can't stand the Lakers. I'm a Celtics fan. It's required by law. Now let's bring out a good beer. Oh, yeah. New Belgium pump kick. This stuff looks very interesting. New release. Um, never had it before. Ale brewed with pumpkin juice, cranberry juice, and spices. Wow. This sounds awesome. 6%. Probably average strength. No doubt about that. And it's out of... Uh, Fort Collins, Colorado. Uh-oh. I don't have my beer. Oh, there's my beer opening apparatus. It's underneath something. I was scared. Broadway opening apparatus. Pump technique. Here we go. <laughs> 45 degree angle right into the beer consumption apparatus. Right over the keyboard because I'm that damn good. Have a spell drop yet. Never have it, never will. Hmm. Cheers and beers to all of you pros, they say in Germany, as they say in Japan. Wow. 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 This is freaking awesome. Méchant Genil. French for wicked awesome. You know what I'm saying, eh? So I'm talking about. Oh, Canada indeed. Gotta give some love to our neighbors up north. Oh my goodness. I gotta give it A plus. That is a s incredible beer. Wow. Totally wicked awesome beer. Alright, well, we had a trivia question. Let's get to that right here, right now. And uh, what sport started the tradition of retiring a player's jersey? If you're really good, you'll be able to name the first player in the team that he played for. Well, our good friend Rebecca Schultz. She's a big fan of the Baron Song of the Day page and loves the trivia. And she said some sports, the retired jerseys are basketball, baseball, and ice hockey. But I believe that hockey was the first one to start with retiring jerseys. Well, hot diggity dog damn you apps of freaking Smurf absolutely nailed it. Wicked awesome job, Rebecca. Oh, big love Dr. Salute to you. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Sway me. That was your first answer. Of course, you later did chime in and say that your dad said that Lou Gehrig had his number retired by the Yankees in 1939. And your dad said it was the first one ever. Uh-uh. Five years before Lou Gehrig was re retired by the Yankees. 
his famous number four, the Iron Horse. The uh, Toronto Maple Leafs retired hockey player Ace Bailey's number six jersey. Toronto Maple Leafs, there you go. The first one to ever retire a jersey. I'll drink to that. All right. So with that said, is our shout-outs. Let's get to our hunks and babes of the day. And we're going to bring out our first hunk of the day. Because my game of the week for this week is one that's going on right now. And it's the Denver Broncos against the Seattle Seahawks. So it's like to call them the Sea Chickens. And since it's in Seattle, we'll feature the Denver players first. And I think a fitting hunk of the day for the Denver Broncos. How about tight end Julius Thomas? This guy's a beast. A little bit of Broncos music. It's a low scoring game. Julius Thomas, whether you love or hate him, the guy's a hell of a football player. He really is. I don't know. When I think when I see number 80, though, I still can't help but think of uh, Rod Smith. I really liked Rod Smith, wide receiver for the Broncos a decade ago. The guy was incredible. I'm telling you, a lot of players deserve to have their jerseys retired, and I think Rod Smith's one of them. I think someday they need to have triple-digit uh, football jerseys, you know? Julius Thomas, not a bad-looking fellow, huh, ladies? Any men are looking in? Yeah. Yeah. Julius Thomas, man beast, legend, badass, one of the best tight ends in the NFL, no question about it. I don't know, man, he's starting to put Shannon Sharp in his place when it comes to being a Broncos tight end. This guy ain't no joke. Well, if you're a Broncos fan or a uh, Seahawks fan, you're going to love today's show. Just saying. Yeah, I hate the Raiders too. Sorry, but I do. <coughs> Well, well, well. Oh. That's it for a hunk of the day. A lot of celebrity birthdays for today. Let's get cracking. Jason Derulo, singer. The perfect age, 25 men alive. That's awesome right there. Dave Couillé, remember him? Oh, yeah, America's Funniest uh, People. And before that, of course, Full House. TV show Full House with Bob Saget. And then that um, Candace Cameron, Jody Sweet. And then that skank, Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen. They were an ugly baby. And they're an ugly girl nowadays, too. Oh. Uh, Bill Murray, legendary comedian. Bit of a socialist, but he's a hell of a comedian. I love him as an actor. Bill Murray, big fan of him, 64 years old today. Uh, Dave Coulier is 55, by the way, if I didn't say that. One of the greatest writers of all time. My personal favorite writer. And a, he's a wicked hardcore uh, New England sports fan. Stephen King. Stephen King, 67 years old today. Drop dead gorgeous yeehaw country singer Faith Hill. She is 47 years old today and looks absolutely freaking smurf absolutely fan tabulous. And I'm sure Tim McGraw agree with that. Alright, let's get to our baby today. Our first baby today. And she is a former Denver Broncos cheerleader. She is beautiful. Hot, real hot, damn hot, wicked hot, and smoking hot. Katie Doland, as we remember her. Katie Doland Mink. Mink. Mm. Ain't she beautiful? She's a Miss USA winner. She's a... I think she was Miss Teen USA, Miss USA, Miss America she competed for. This girl's done it all. And the... Uh, Former Broncos cheerleader, too. 
She's just beautiful. Hey, on this day in 1984. Hey, check it out there, Josh Lee. You'll love this. Um, the singer Whale was born. Whale, 30 years old today. How about that? Also, another one that was that's 30 years old today, born in the exact same month, day, and year as Whale and Josh Lee, would be our badass Kansas City Chiefs wide receiver, Dwayne Bow. And you better believe I got him in my fantasy league. Um, Kar Karina Kapoor, gorgeous Bollywood actress, former baby of the day on Beer and Song of the Day. She's 34 years old today. Um, Liam Gallagher, the lead singer of Oasis out of jolly old England. There she is. Um, he's 42 years old today, representing Colorado. Yeah, she's a homer. Nothing wrong with that. That's the right way to do business. I mean, ain't she beautiful? Um... Nicole Richie, <laughs> that skank that, I think her and Paris Hilton did unruly things together. I don't care. Uh, Nicole Richie's 33 years old today. Her dad was awesome, or still is, Lionel Richie. Lindsey Sterling, legendary violinist and beautiful lady. Lindsey Sterling, 28 and looking great. The late, great Larry Hagman, of course, the, the male lead on the TV show Dallas. He was born this day, 1931, passed away 2012. J.R. Ewing, that's right, we'll never forget that. Boy, nice pictures. Um, Greg Jennings, wide receiver. Formerly, I'll always remember Greg Jennings as a wide receiver for the uh, Green Bay Packers. But uh, uh, Greg Jennings is 33 years old today. Luke Wilson, actor, 43 years old today. Ricky Lake, or as I like to call it, Licky Rake. <laughs> Talk show hostess. Uh, Ricky Lake, 46 years old today. Legendary composer Leonard Cohen, 80 years old today. Big milestone birthday right there. That's a milestone. <laughs> Chuck Jones, ah, Warner Brothers animator, Bugs Bunny and all that good stuff. Chuck Jones, a legend indeed, born in the state 1912, passed away in 2002 at the age of 89. Ann Burrell, Chef Ann Burrell. She's the uh, chef with the crazy blonde hair that's like <laughs> way out there. Looks like she's stuck a finger in a light socket. I love that girl. And that woman can cook. Ann Burrell, 45 years old today. H.G. Wells. Yes, the legendary writer H.G. Wells. Um, wrote The Time Machine, one of my all-time favorite stories and books. And um, H.G. Wells, born to stay in 1866, passed away in 1946. Nancy Travis, actress, 53 years old today. And finally, David Silveria, the drummer of corn. Former drummer of corn, 42 years old today. How about that? So as we enjoy a little bit more Katie Dolan. <whistles> yeah, baby. And you Broncos cheerleader fans, there you go. If you're a fan of the Broncos, I know you are loving this. And I will drink with you. I like the Broncos. I've never had anything against them. And I hope they beat the Seahawks. I don't really have anything against the Seahawks. I'm just tired of that stupid 12th man shit. When I know damn well that Texas A&M is the originator of the 12th man. And Donnelly, I know, you know that's true too. Oh yeah. Alright. Well let's get to our... Seattle Seahawks, shall we? And I've chosen a pretty good uh, hunk of the day, although some people can't stand them. The guy is a hell of a football player. So we're going to bring out that famous parody song, What Does the Hawk Say? Bob Rivers, here you go. As we bring out the crazy, wild, badass Richard Sherman. Hey, Charlie, see Richard Sherman, question? this guy's an animal. He's a manimal, but he's a damn good football player. Pretty good, huh? Uh, Probably the best defensive it. player Jimmy, on the Seahawks. Look at that guy. This oh, dude's just nice. intense. Hey, I'll tell you what, if I was a Patriots fan, I'd love that. If, if I was a Patriots fan, I am a Patriots fan. If I had a chance, I'd love to have Richard Sherman on my team. Because this guy is a, he's a manimal. He's an insane football player. He's intense. He's passionate. He cares. 
the Buccaneer goes R. Dolphins squeak and Bengals burn and the Jags go ow ow. Yeah, they do. The Jaguars the suck. Down, the Northwest knows. What does the Hawks say? Now the Seahawks can just win on the road, right? You know? Alright, they're defending Super Bowl champions. We'll give them that. Spreading like a hawk right there. Sean Lynch. Yeah, you couldn't do well with Buffalo, huh? That's it for Richard Sherman, folks. Very interesting song. KJR Seattle Channel 95, this one came from. Hey, on this day in 2011, Google's new social network service, Google Plus, is released to the general public. How about that? Three years later, it's not all that big. They thought it was going to take over Facebook. Man, that didn't happen. But here's something that will take over Facebook. This gorgeous hottie. Seattle, former Seattle Seahawks cheerleader, and Barker's beauty, Price is Right, this woman is drop-dead gorgeous. Amber Lancaster. <whistles> Hello. Yeah. Seattle Sea Gal. And now, legendary, yeah, legendary hottie. Not a lot of pictures of her as a cheerleader, which is shocking because she was a cheerleader for the Seahawks for five years. So, I, I looked hard for him. It was hard to find him. But, hey, on this day in 1986, Miami Dolphins quarterback Dan Marino passes for six touchdowns against the New York Jets. But, the Jets did beat Miami 51-45 to in overtime. A record 884 passing yards in that single game between both teams. Hello, Amber Lancaster. Yowza. On his day in 1982, yep, the strike. The NFL players begin a 57-day strike. Only nine games were played in the 1982 NFL season. And the Washington Redskins did go on to win the Super Bowl that, that year. On his day in 1981, happy Independence Day to Belize, formerly known as British Honduras, as they gained independence from the United Kingdom. How about that, huh? On his day in 1980, I actually remember this game. And it's funny because um, my man Drew Bledsoe beat the record years later. But Richard Todd of the New York Jets completes 42 passes in a single game. That was an NFL record at the time. Drew Bledsoe beat it when he went 45 for 70 with my beloved Patriots. Hey, on this day in 1981, I forgot to mention, Sandra Day O'Connor officially becomes the first female Supreme Court Justice. That's awesome, and so is she. On his day in 1970, I already mentioned it. Um, of course, Monday Night Football. Hell yeah, 44 years old today. On his day in 1969, and a record that still stands, New York Jets punter Steve O'Neill punched the ball 98 yards against the Denver Broncos. I should watch the video earlier today. Wow, is all I got to say. Um, it's not that he booted it 98 yards in, you know, in the air. He booted it about 50-plus, maybe maybe close to 60, and the uh, receiver just kind of stood there and, you know, it just kept bouncing and it just bounced to the one-yard line. I mean, Steve O'Neill booted it from the one-yard line, and he was in his end zone when he punted it. 
in his own end zone, and the ball landed on the one-yard line. It's a record that I don't think is ever going to be beat. On this day in 1966, Jimi Hendrix changes the spelling of his name from J-I-M-M-Y to J-I-M-I. You may not care, but I'm a big Jimi Hendrix fan, so I do. On this day in 1964, 50 years ago today, happy Independence Day to Malta as they get independence from Great Britain. How about that? Malta, the country of Malta, 50 years old today. Yeah, baby. <laughs> on this day in 1957, one of the greatest uh, crime drama shows of all time, Perry Mason with Raymond Burr premieres on CBS TV. That show lasted for nine seasons. Good Lord. On this day in 1955, 60 years ago today, the first nuclear-powered submarine, the USS Nautilus, is commissioned, and that submarine is still around today. On this day in 1953, KRDO-TV, Channel 13, Colorado Springs, Pueblo, Colorado, premieres, I mean, I'm sorry, ABC affiliate is first broadcast. Good Lord, look at that. On this day in 1948, the first truly successful TV show as Texco Star Theater with Milton Berle premieres on NBC TV. Well, I can't say the first true, but that was Milton Berle's first TV show, Uncle Milty. Very famous show. Honestly, in 1938, anybody who's from New England remembers this well. Hurricane of 38. Yep, that's right, September 21st, 1938. The Hurricane of 38, New England kills 700 people. Top wins, one 183 miles per hour. Insane. Still the strongest um, hurricane to ever hit New England. No question about it. Honestly, in 1937, uh, J.R.R. Tolkien publishes The Hobbit. Honestly, in 1930, uh, Johann Ostermeyer patents the flash bulb. And I just dropped my iPod. And was called a pendejo. Nice. Very nice. On this day, 1929, first legal pass in Canada was thrown by uh, Jerry Cyberling and first reception by Ralph Losey of the Calgary Altoma Tigers against Edmonton. How about that? Canadian Football League. Eh? Some talking to me. Oh, Canada indeed. I love that. I do. Ooh. Honestly, 1915. Talk about a steal of a deal right here. C.H. Chubb. That's C-H-U-B-B. C.H. Chubb. Buy Stonehenge for 6,600 pounds. That's it, folks. That's all he paid for. About $13,000. American money back in those days. But hey, what an investment that was, huh? Stonehenge. No kidding. Allo. Amber Lancaster. Good Lord. Honest Day in 1903, first cowboy film, Kit Carson, premieres in the United States. Funny, because I always thought Great Trade Robbery was before that, but maybe not. Same year, though. Honest Day in 1897, New York Sun <coughs> runs their famous um, article, their famous editorial, Yes, Virginia, There is a Santa Claus. Honest Day in 1895, oh, Clay Bosch, French for Cleavage. Um, first auto manufacturer opens... Duryea Motor Wagon Company as Frank Duryea drives the first U.S.-made gas-propelled vehicle. A car. How about that? On this day in 1883, first, US, first direct U.S.-Brazil telegraph connection. That's the last picture right there of the day. Aww. On this day in 1837, Charles Tiffany founded his jewelry and china stores. On this day in 1814, 200 years ago today, the Star-Spangled Banner by Francis Scott Key is published as a poem. America! Damn right! Star-Spangled Banner. Our beloved anthem. On this day in 1784, first daily newspaper in America. The Pennsylvania Packet and Daily Advertiser. It was the first successful daily U.S. daily newspaper. On this day in 1780, uh, Benedict Arnold, yeah, that guy, gives the British Major Andre plans to West Point. What a dick, you sell out. Ironically, though, on this day in 1776, Nathan Hale spied on the British 
for American rebels. <laughs> Squeamy. But he got arrested on this day in 1776. On his day in 1677, John and Nicholas uh, Vander Hayden patented the fire extinguisher. And finally on this day in 1621, King James of jolly old England gives Canada to Sir Alexander Sterling. Canada was given to somebody. Wow. Boy, was that a mistake because Canada is worth a ton. Damn right. And I'll drink today. Mm-hmm. After his brain cells of an average Yankees fan. Folks, you know what time it is, right? Damn right, Reverend Dr. B. It's time for you to eat some of Farrah's world-famous meatloaf with bacon poured all over it and all cooked. Oh, I am excited. But folks, it's also time to make a fetus to head out so everybody take care of a wicked awesome night and day. Peace be the journey. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Don't drink and drive. My spare you drink. All you might kill yourself or somebody else. And drinking and driving is dumber than being a Yanks fan. What's dumber than that? It's working for puke fest of goober schnitzels like Eli. Eh. I'm a good Tom Brady. <laughs> You're a funny guy. Manning. Or men slapping women. Like Ray Rice loves to do. Or animal abuse or racism, or people that watch on bets or fake friends, or anybody that supports the fans or is a member of the Westboro Baptist Church, things like that are just plain stupid and definitely deserve a big fat JFY. Folks, I'm out of here. I'll see you all tomorrow. Talk to you later. Bye bye. 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 17 12. Denver's down. 2 12 left to go. Kansas City's going to beat the Dolphins. Good. Squish the fish, thankfully. Love it. And, uh, oh, my goodness, the Cardinals beat the 49ers 23-14. to Boy, I was wrong on that one. Oh, well. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. Meatloaf time. Yummy.